Hello there, it is Tyler here, and we're back to do some more patch making, again in Citrus. And this is one actually going to go by request. I had a comment that asked if we could get a DI guitar sound sort of thing, I assume for the purpose of sending through effects later. But before we dive in, I do want to mention a few things real quick. If anyone is on Spotify, I decided to put together a synthy list of fun songs of all kinds. So if you are interested in following or listening through that list, it could be a fun thing to do. And I'll keep adding and throwing in anything I can find that I think is along the lines of it as things move on. So I thought that could be a fun way to explore music. If anybody has thoughts on that, I'll put a link in the description. You can click on that and leave me a comment what you think about it, whatever. Also, I have a few other video requests I'll be getting through here pretty soon, plus the question and answer song series that's going. So if you have any ideas for anything you want to see in any form for the patch maker or the anything else sort of video you might have a question about, just let me know in a comment and I will be happy to take a look. Finally, if you do like what's going on here, feel free to like and subscribe, etc. If you've not done that already, all that business, but at any rate, here we go. So the request was for a DI guitar sound, so a direct guitar sound, which if we look in our instruments, we could pull up a few guitars to choose from. I threw in a few Strat uh, direct waves. And I have them just linked all around the place and going through a wave candy on the master track here, which is synced to a C. So if I play a C note, we can see the waveform but only the C's because that's where it's synced and just kind of looking through a couple of different samples here and listening as well we can kind of hear it's sort of plucky presumably because these are just recorded plucks on a guitar and they're not the most realistic thing and speaking of which, if you really want a realistic sounding guitar, the best idea for you to have is to just record a guitar. But sometimes a synthesized guitar can be pretty cool, and it's just a different flavor on some things sometimes. And there are also some pretty complex sampling plugins that do that sort of thing, but we're just going to deal with Citrus. So again, if we look at this waveform, it's relatively simple. Just kind of gets a little bit more jagged at the front and falls off to be not quite a sine wave but kind of close. So high harmonics to low harmonics. I have it linked through to mixer track 31 where we can just throw a hardcore which is just a bunch of guitar pedal sort of simulations and I just have a preset and I messed around with the cabinet model and all that sort of stuff. But most of it's just a preset and if we it then gets to be just a distorted sound. Now, I have sort of made this sound beforehand because I kind of did a couple intricate things and I was just trying things out and I didn't want this video to be too long of just playing around. So I got this sound. And it definitely sounds synthesized and it's FM sort of stuff making it plucky, but I did do a few things that those direct wave samples did not do, so I have it so the velocity actually links a little bit to the pluck, so it has a bit more expressivity, but sending anything through a bunch of distortion is going to get you a pretty similar sound. So let's turn that same hardcore on. And really, that's pretty usable when you distort it like that. So those were the two different sounds, and they're virtually the same when you run them through like that. Because all of these effects pedals are going to be dealing with the sound all crazy and giving you that sound. And it's not like you have to use hardcore for it. That is the image line one, but 
you can find all sorts of free or paid plugins that do different effects on there. These are just a couple tube amps or some other amp simulation things, and maybe they don't have as much distortion on them right now, but you can crank things in different ways and get that sound. But let's go through my sound, just kind of hit all the parts that I did for it. I'm going to hold Alt and press F12 to just close everything so it's not all cluttered. But basically, I have operator 1 as this shape here. I just sort of made a bit of a sine wave, a bit of some tension, and I filtered out a bunch of it with this. I moved it down an octave from the frequency ratio by just turning that here, and that's going to give you this sound with nothing else coming out. I'll just block out everything. Just that shape. And then I added in operator 2, which again is just a kind of filtered down shape, a little bit of a rounded triangle kind of. I have it at 1.5 frequency ratio, which is a fifth up from the other one, so that if you actually listen to that wave, is there, but modulating. That's already most of the work there. So I have it frequency modulating, FMing operator one here, and I also have operator one with a velocity modulating the modulation. So at the different velocities I hit the key, it's going to have more or less modulation. And I also have that going from 3, which 3 I just made a... I hit the pluck, so that is grayed out here, but if we turn it up... I changed the damping on the pluck so that it is a very tiny wave and basically just tiny little pluck there. I don't remember if I had... Okay, I also have a really short envelope on it too. So that also is modulating just a tiny bit of a pop on modulation one, so... You just hear that little bit of snap at the beginning of it. But I don't have that coming out here. I actually have that routed through the filter. So operator 1's going out. I also have operator 3 going through that filter. So there's a little bit of the pop, not just from the modulation, but from the sound itself. So these are the same sounds coming out here, or would be coming out here if they were. So they're routed through this filter section, where I use the filter kind of like an EQ, actually. If I turn it on here. I did some volume envelope here so that it decays. And also a bit of cutoff LFO so that this moves a little bit and also has a bit of a envelope as well. And I did some weird stuff. It's not really a low pass. It's got a bit of band pass and a tiny bit of high pass. So that those harmonics kind of leak through a little bit which again, when you distort, doesn't really make a big difference, but that's kind of what I was hearing and seeing from the other guitar sounds here. And that's really all. I did forget to mention that I think I have a, yeah, I have a pitch envelope in operator two here. It's just a very tiny amount. I turned down the actual pitch envelope amount here to 50 cents, and it's a really tiny addition there, but I just wanted a bit of movement from what's FMing operator one. So you can see just a tiny bit when it starts to sync up. You see it kind of pushes a little bit that direction. That's because it's syncing up to the C note of the wave candy. And that just adds a little bit of weird movement to our FMing, which just changes it a tiny, tiny hair of a bit probably isn't that necessary, but I was getting a little carried away playing with some of these things. 
And again, we'll note that the modulation link to velocity is what makes it so that the pluckiness of the sound comes through. And I did turn up this soften knob, which softens the attack of low velocity notes. And so on the filter, I have a little bit of a attack here. I held alt and shifted that over just a nudge so that if I have a really low velocity note, you can kind of hear the attack more so of the filter ramping up. And I did pitch it up 12 semitones because I think I pitched it down and I just kind of liked where it sounded when I'm playing it on the keyboard here. And I did just kind of play around sending it through instead of out here I went to the next and that just sends it through this next filter and on there I turned on the wave shaper and actually I turned the filter off and that's the only thing happening I think I did do a bit of a volume envelope too and a lot of it I think I had going through the effects here which just citrus is effects as opposed to a hardcore I turned on some reverb I think I did some delay yes and the chorus It doesn't sound as much like a guitar, more of a synth that is kind of distorted, but that's kind of cool too, really. Really fuzzy because I did a very distorted and pointy wave shaper along the crossover of the wave shaper. So that makes it really rich with those harmonics and really fuzzy looking in here. But without those going through and just doing a hardcore, I think it turned out to be a pretty usable sound. But again, note that none of this is necessary, necessary. You can just send a 3x OSC through and get a reasonably similar sound. That's literally just a sine wave. Or three sine waves, rather. So when you distort things a ton, they start to sound like a distorted guitar because that's just how it works. But I hope this kind of helped for looking at emulating sounds and things that you might see and just kind of using the tools at your hands to do them. In this case, I did FM, but you could really just do this by subtractive synthesis, making just a filter, make a pluck, and then do a similar idea. It would sound a little different, obviously, because it's a different mode of operation. But again, if you're just planning on distorting it, that would work just fine. But hopefully this was a little bit informative and kind of looked into some cool things. So let me know what you think and what you might want me to get into next, and I will see you once we get to the next video. Bye-bye.